If you're tired of taking so many pictures on your vacation that never actually leave your phone, I'm gonna show you the five ways I save memories that aren't just taking photos. The first way I bring my travel memories home is through sand jars. I got these small glass bottles with corks on Amazon, and I bring a few empties with me on every trip. Now, I am aware that some people find this controversial, but this is why I use very small bottles, so I am taking no more sand than would get caught up in your beach towel. Usually I have to dry out the sand when I come home. Then I secure the cork with a little bit of super glue and make a nice little label. It's really fun to look back on your travels and compare landscapes from around the world. Plus they can be used as super cute little decorations. Another great low maintenance way to bring your memories home is with pins. Most attractions and gift shops will have pins and you can be pretty creative with how you display them. I got this canvas embroidery ring from Amazon and it's a great way to display all the cool places I've been. This next one is for my book lovers. I love visiting local bookstores and bringing home works from local authors. From Bayfield, Wisconsin, I bought two Wendy Webb novels that are both set in and around Bayfield and Madeline Island. As you can see, I dropped this one in the mud, so I brought a little bit of Bayfield home with me. Obviously in Key West, I bought two Ernest Hemingway novels from the bookstore at his home, which is now a museum. And of course, in Galway, Ireland, I bought books by James Joyce and Oscar Wilde. I've also purchased these historical books for several locations to keep as memories. You can find these just about anywhere in the US. One of my favorite ways to preserve memories is through junk journaling. My journals tend to be half junk and half scrapbook thanks to my little Canon IV printer, but feel free to fill your journal however you like. As you can see, I haven't started the journal from my trip to Ireland. I brought back tons of bags, receipts, and tickets from all the places I visited. I also ordered some stickers from Redbubble just to jazz it up a little bit. I love looking back on the memories I've created, and it's a fantastic creative release. Last, but certainly not least, is perfume. This is easily my favorite way to capture memories because our sense of smell is the most closely related to our memories. While gearing up for a trip, I will sample a variety of perfumes and then purchase a travel spray or rollerball, just like this one, to bring with me on the trip. I wear that particular scent for my whole trip so that my brain associates memories with that particular smell. Then when I finish the travel spray, I buy a full size of the perfume and it essentially functions like preserving your memories in a bottle. With all the time and money that we invest into trips and vacations, we wanna be able to remember the good times as vividly as possible. Comment down below which of these tips you wanna try next or which ones you have tried in the past. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.